Pathologically jealous spread vicious slander. They try to make you look the abuser and they the victim. Jealousy comes in many forms and many low blows, but one thing is, it typically derives from low self-esteem. When one is bridged between reality and whom they feel they should be and what they feel they should have, they sever bridges rather than contain the vile within. Sometimes the envy and venom is hidden behind sarcasm and so-called humour, critiquing and put down. But whatever the cause, this behaviour is nothing more than ego boosting from the insecure. Many people exhibit the behaviour that comes from a jealous nature. But whatever is behind it, nothing excuses it. It's trashy behaviour coming from one whose agenda is to feel better boost their own self-esteem. It's behaviour that's common as mud. It's not the behaviour of the strong, but the behaviour of the weak. Anyone who spends their time and energy trying to defame or derail another is signalling to the universe that a good taste of their own medicine is well deserved. A sugar-coated insult, a backhanded compliment is often a very obvious sign someone's envy bells are triggered. Give me a damn straight if you agree. You will often be ignored in front of others. You know the kinds that will only be friendly privately but won't openly acknowledge or praise you. One, they're either talking shit on you behind your back and frightened the other will see. Or they're frightened by acknowledging you. That will somehow direct attention from themselves. Genuine people don't don't pick and choose when to support and they sure as hell don't shy away from singing your praises in front of others and most definitely won't ignore your wins and accomplishments. Often some become so threatened by another's achievements because of an entitlement they feel that the accolades should all be theirs and theirs alone. They seldom consider what it may have taken for the other to achieve their goals. They just see it as something robbed of them. When they feel inferior rather than working on becoming the best version of themselves, upping their game. They take it out on the person that somehow innocently makes them feel less. They feel it diminishes who they are if one of their peers has even a moment in the spotlight. Their needs are akin with that of a small child, the need for validation, that feeling of being number one. They know exactly what they're doing and are meticulous in their calculated plotting. The behaviours of the highly immature that have never grown past the childish antics never grown as a person. They will constantly talk bad of you to others, pointing out even the minutest of flaws, obsessively scrutinizing, obsessively watching. They will go out of their way to try to discredit anything and everything you say or do. Of course, behind your back or hiding behind the anonymity of their computer settings. But you know it's them. People talk, people screenshot. They project their venom and insecurities by going after you because you are who they want to be or you have something they want. They do not have the courage or convictions to go after and earn it for themselves. So like a bratty child, they try to stomp over anything you've acquired or accomplished. Often they are too obtuse to realize their actions are in fact helping you rather than diminishing you. Remain unemotional. You have no reason to care. You hold all the power. These people are so fixated by you, they do not have the intellect or moral to turn away. They clearly have a long list of issues and cannot help themselves. So all their rage bubbles to the surface and rather than focusing on upping their own game, they throw little tanties and try to throw you off yours. They find comfort in trying to make your life miserable, but they will only succeed if you allow them to get the better of you. They are constantly trying to get a rise out of you, but are too ill-equipped to realize that every action directed towards you is merely proof. You're triggering a response of envious venom and clearly getting a rise out of them. If you've ever shared secrets with these kinds, they'll try to use them against you, even if embellished and exaggerated. They have no power. They are completely losing footing. So they think threatening to sell you down the river with your deepest, darkest or their lies will manipulate you into surrendering defeat and put them on firmer ground. Fuck them. Guaranteed for every so-called secret of yours, you've got far more on them and receipts. Never show fear. Never show weakness. Only the lowest of the low use idle threats of intimidation to one minding their own business, getting on with their life. These people are clearly 
unwell. And no matter how nice, generous, or understanding you have been, you will not change them or their actions because these people are riddled to the core with toxicity and jealousy. It festers within the repugnance and bitterness seeps from every pore. The jealous will see any confidence you have shared as payback. They will often first cozy up to you emotionally, try to imitate you, take on your personality, your likes and dislikes, declare undying loyalty and devotion, but will turn on you without warning for even the slightest of hers. Make up the most vicious of untruths, luring in all they can to be used as allies against you. They will do their absolute best to break down your self-confidence as a response to the self-esteem they lack themselves. Their deep-seated feelings of inadequacy are somehow all your fault. You have taken from them and you must pay. They must belittle you, show the world who they say you are, even when they are describing you as a more accurate depiction of themselves. We should never have to live in fear of who we are in case it triggers another's inferiority. It is not our fault that our being somehow makes them feel lesser because they want more, think they deserve more than we. We have all most likely likely experience moments of envy and jealousy. But for the most of us, we get a handle on it real quick and don't take it out on the subject of our inferiority. The pathologically jealous spread vicious slander. They try to make you look the abuser and they the victim. They tend to believe their own lies and will refute any claims of them being consumed by envy or jealousy. They actually feign horror and disgust at the prospect. But to all that know facts from their their fiction, jealousy is exactly what drives them. Jealousy comes in many forms and sometimes much lesser doses, sometimes by way of another always trying to compete one-up you, downplaying anything you accomplish, critiquing anything you like or brings you happiness, someone who keeps tabs on anything they do for you or gives to you, but fails to remember or acknowledge the millions of things you've done for or given to them, blames you for everything and fails to take responsibility. Openly takes the piss out of you to make you feel embarrassed and small, themselves glorified and big. When we are comfortable in our own skin, at peace with who we are, we do not feel the need to go after anyone else by flashing external alarm bells of insecurity. The jealous will do anything to burst our happiness bubble. They feel if we somehow evaporate, they will then acquire all they envy about us for themselves. They will still be hollow, empty human beings. Life is not a pissing competition. We should never have to play down who we are to buff another's ego. When you are dealing with the jealous, the best you can do is keep living your best life in spite of them. Let them rot in the misery they are wishing for you, but are in fact creating for themselves. Live your life large, live your life proud. Be beautiful, gracious, strong, and humble. Everything they wish to be, but simply are not. Everything they want, but lack the courage to earn. Everything you are, but they lack the courage to be. Worry not about the bitter and jealous. Never let them get under your skin or have you questioning your worth. For these are the miserable bastards that want to wear your skin. Keep skating through life, living large, loud, and free. For these miserable bastards, try as they may, they can never be you, they can never be me. I'm Sharon Leanna, thank you for watching all the way till the end. Drop me a comment so I know you're here and be sure to hit the like button for me too. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe as it really helps my channel grow. I appreciate the support. Don't forget to hit the bell so you don't miss my next one. And while you're here, check out my other videos. Until next time, love, peace and light to you. Break out of your shell, meet me halfway.